Hey everyone, Rogue Gold here, and in the spirit of doing some more new player-oriented content lately, I've been dabbling in that realm, and it seems like there's a lot of you who truly appreciate it and who it really does help out, so I want to keep doing that whenever I can, and so today we're coming in with another informational guide, if you will, because aside from builds, I made a new player build guide video recently that you can check out in the top corner. The next question that I get asked very frequently is what exotics people should be going for, which ones are good, which ones are cool, which ones are fun. Honestly, there are a lot of reasons in different angles to view things in, as for why one would want to go for a particular exotic, but my main goal here is to lay out five exotics that I think every Division 2 player should have. And by breaking each of them down, hopefully that can give you a sense of which might best fit your playstyle and preferred content. Now one quick disclaimer I want to put out there is that it is not my intention to necessarily spotlight the quote-unquote best exotics in the game. My criteria for selecting the items on this list was power for sure, but additionally what utility benefits they offer if they're granting you something incredibly unique and unlike other possible games combinations, as well as I didn't just want to give you five PvE-oriented weapons or five PvP gear items. So I tried to go through and choose some exotic weapons and gear pieces that are universally good, some that specialize in PvE, and some that specialize in PvP, so there should be a good amount of variety in here. Additionally, I will of course let you know where to obtain each of these exotics as we go over them. That said, I very much hope you enjoy. Starting with the Memento. My veteran player viewers knew this was going to be on the list. The Memento is an incredibly strong backpack item, and that's because it basically buffs up any build type. Here's the talent. Enemies that you kill drop a trophy on death. Collecting trophies provides you with both a short and long-term buff, the first of which scales with the number of corresponding core attributes equipped and lasts for 10 seconds. 5% weapon damage per weapon damage core, 10% bonus armor per armor core, and 5% skill efficiency per skill core. For every trophy collected, gain an additional 1% weapon damage, 1% skill efficiency, and 0.1% armor regeneration for 300 seconds, maximum stacks. 30. So I know that's a lot of text, but it's really not too hard to understand. If you look at the gameplay in the background, you'll see that every enemy I kill is dropping that orange beam. That's a trophy. When you pick one of those up, you get two buffs. One lasts for 10 seconds. It's the orange arm-shaped icon on your HUD, and this scales depending on how your build is structured. If you've got more damage, it'll give you more damage. If you have more armor, you'll get more bonus armor, etc. The long-term buff is the gray icon you'll see on the HUD, and that lasts for five minutes and refreshes with every new trophy collected. So as long as you keep killing enemies, it's essentially infinite, and in combination, these two separate buffs give you a crazy amount of extra power. The memento is also unique in the fact that it rolls with all three core attributes, which unlocks some wild build potential. So in general, the memento is just a powerhouse of an item, especially shining in PvE content and solo play. If you want to track this one down, it can drop randomly out of exotic caches, but you can also play any content. It's in the general loot pool, but the highest drop chances you'll come across is when you're playing something with targeted backpacks. Next up, the Scorpio, another staple. This exotic shotgun is used by every kind of player in all kinds of content. It's on another level. The talent reads, shooting a target applies stacks of venom, which lasts for 10 seconds. Increasing stacks adds more severe debuffs to the target. One stack is poison, three is disorient, six is shock, and seven targets take additional 20% damage from all sources. Stacks no longer increase, and the duration of the status effects are based on the percentage of pellets hit on applying a shot. This one is a bit more straightforward. You shoot stuff, and they ain't moving. What's so strong about it is its ability to lock down enemies. On regular NPCs, this is basically just a death sentence. The Scorpio has good damage on its own, so you'll be mowing through ads. But where it truly shines is with enemies like named bosses or hunters, because this weapon basically allows you to just lock them in place. And whether you're by yourself or in a group, getting huge windows of damage in that you otherwise wouldn't have is a really valuable asset. It's a beast, not too much else to say. If you want to go after this one, it can drop randomly from exotic caches, can be farmed anywhere in the general loot pool, and again, the highest chances you'll have are playing targeted shotgun content. Then we get to a newer addition to the game, but one that I've absolutely fallen in love with and basically have become dependent on, and that is the Catharsis Exotic Mask. Here's the talent. Taking damage builds stacks to a cap of 30. Each stack grants 1% weapon damage. Taking damage at max stacks triggers a purge, removing all stacks and status effects, and then dropping a healing cloud, which restores 5% of max armor for 10 seconds to all allies in the cloud. So, while I use this most frequently in PvP, as you can see from the talent, it can shine anywhere. Anytime you take damage, you're building up 
damage stacks to put back out onto the enemy. And once you hit 30, boom, Healing Cloud, which heals you for 50% of your total armor if you stay in the cloud the entire duration. It's just a dream, a very low maintenance exotic with high power and potential, and then additionally, if you are using this in PvP, the status effect cleansing effect is a lifesaver. So I love this thing, I think you will too. If you want to go after it, it drops from exotic caches, can be farmed anywhere in the general loot pool, and the best chances will come from content with targeted masks. Uh, incinerator turret detected. Contaminated gear detected. Alright, and then we come to an item that came with the newest exotic additions to the game, and that is the Busy Little Bee Exotic Pistol. This little guy packs a punch, and this is just so versatile across both PvE and PvP that I've said many times before in my videos that this is an exotic that if you don't have a reason to run a different run, you should absolutely be running this. Here's the talent. Each shot to a different target will stack one stack up to 10 max, with each stack giving 20% weapon damage increase. Stacks will activate once the weapon is switched and will last for 10 seconds, changing weapon weapons again during the 10 seconds will cancel the buff. So it's super simple and super effective. Shoot enemies while it's out in your hand, build up stacks, switch back to your main weapon, and absolutely annihilate whatever's in front of you. What's crazy about this thing is that there are basically no limitations. Once you mark an enemy, if you or somebody else kills them, you will still keep the stack that they granted you. You can also take an infinite amount of time to either build up or retain the stacks. As long as you don't swap from your pistol, you can carry those stacks around with you indefinitely, and then there's just the sheer fact that at 10 stacks, you're getting 200% weapon damage. Now getting the buff that high in actually strategically using it can be rare, but it's not too hard to get four stacks, five stacks, and at that point you're already at 100% bonus damage. I say this is the exotic to use if you don't have a use for another one because it's just simple and it helps any kind of build. Tap some ads, swap back to your primary, and get tons of damage. What's not to love? If you want to get the B, it is currently at the time I'm making this video exclusively unlocked from the Season 10 reward track, meaning you need to unlock it there first. I believe it's rank 55. However, if you're watching this video once Season 11 or any future update is live, then the B will have entered the general loot pool, meaning it'll drop from exotic caches, can be farmed anywhere, but has the highest chances from targeted pistol content. Last but not least, we come to the Capacitor. A bit of a dark horse choice for me, as I typically don't use this gun or the type of build it promotes, but it's undeniable that skill builds are hugely popular in the Division 2, and that's exactly where the Capacitor shines. The talent reads, shooting enemies build stacks to a cap of 40. Each stack grants 1.5% skill damage. After 5 seconds, stacks decay 1 per second. For each skill tier, gain 7.5% weapon damage. So yeah, very good with skill builds. This weapon makes it so that investment into skill tiers simultaneously offers weapon damage bonuses, which is wild, and as you shoot the weapon, your skills are constantly getting buffed up. It's a great gun, pairs super well with lots of talents and other stuff, there's not too much else that can be held against it. It is definitely more PvE focused, I would say, so just keep that in mind, and it does have a bit of a different unlock method than the other items on this list. It involves the summit game mode. Super simple though, all you need to do is complete five summit challenges within one single ascent. That means during your floor 1 to 100 run, complete five challenges, there's plenty of time to do so, believe me, and if you're not sure what those are, just open your map while in the Summit game mode, and you'll see the Challenges tab that you can check out. And there we go, everybody. That is my list for the five exotics I believe every player in the Division 2 should have. Got some of the greatest picks for PvE, PvP, solo play, team play, everything you can think of, so there's some good variety in there. And above all else, I really hope this video was informative and helpful.
Thank you all so much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video and be sure to subscribe with notifications on so you can be updated every time I upload. Let me know your thoughts on my list here, folks. If you're a vet, anything you would have changed on the list, any additional advice you'd give to newer players. Also, if you are a newer player, welcome. Hope you're enjoying your time with The Division 2. If you have any questions about the stuff in this video or the game in general, I'm always happy to help answer stuff, so ask away. That's going to do it for me on this one, though, everybody. Once again, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day. Until the next one, guys, Rogue Gold.